Swaggy Chris here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new update, the 0.58.1, which has been some changes for all the classes in general. However, most importantly, for engineer and for mercenary. So let's get to it. Let's check the update for a little bit. I want to highlight a few things. So, first of all, uh, a, a few people have thought that this was the update for the new map because they have seen the picture of the new map. However, it is just an uh, update for a few changes that they have been made into the game. So, um, again, uh, they expect the location to be released by the second by the end of the second quarter so probably by the end of June so we will see now let's go to the new game features that have been added so the first is gonna be the tar the target designator all right for the target designator basically all, you'll find those in Canyon Coast uh, testing grounds um, in the big village uh, locations so we are in coast and if we go all the way here all the way down you'll find the uh, the target designator and you just only 10k so all we have to do is right click equip and once it is equipped over here by the way we can move it over here and we can put the other equipment but we can have it here on F4 as well. And now what it all it does, it does this. So when we press, so we have our pointer over here. So for example, if I want to point that at an enemy that is that I that I died and it's close here, I can just go and point it at like this. And now my group, when my group is online here, they will be able to see the marker. So I don't have to use uh, the monoculars anymore. I can just do that uh, with this device much easier. Over here, we will see a new addition, uh, which it will probably help a lot on the PvP and it will uh, a bit delay uh, the people, the enemy, the enemy group, but it will help the uh, defending group. There have been new sandbox that you can be able to add them uh, and it will be only in canyon and in foothills the new location which on, on you can install them and repair them with a shovel all right now for the walkie talkie all you have to do is basically to uh, have a person with you or more people and basically press um equip then after the equip you basically uh want to want to uh press f4 and after the f4 that has been activated you only have to press uh c which when you press c you'll be able to talk and the other person can hear you Hello? so just like that you'll be basically hearing the other person and the other person can hear you as well which this doesn't only work in this location, it can also work in multiple locations. So basically, when you are with somebody else and uh, this person is in another map, he will basically hear you from the other map using the walkie talkie. Okay, for the placement, for the fire line, which is the new sandbox, this one over here. So basically all you have to do, you have to go to staff and you'll find it under the sandbox, the old one that you had to mine rocks and then you have to open the craft inventory in order to make that. Here, you just need to buy it, just like that. And then all you have to do is go here, outside, or when or when you have lost um, um, 
when you have lost the um, safe zone uh, but it's more suitable here you can just go first place and once you find the green you just do that now you will still feel that you cannot go through but uh, with a shovel with the help of shovel uh, you can actually make it you can do it alone but also you can also do it as a group so once you do that uh, it would show up uh, sandbox and it's very easy to actually uh, destroy it you just need to shoot and it will do it will become like that so this will give uh, maybe a few uh, for a few a few seconds to the enemy until uh, he won't be able to come to the base so I feel this is a very good addition for the PvP there is also uh, another mechanic another mechanic which is pretty cool uh, when you can get off your bike pretty fast you can actually you can actually get off your bike faster than usual now another thing that people um, have seen and it's pretty 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 cool added to the game is when you players now can use medical supplies when they're riding a motorcycle so this thing is actually one of the best things I've seen because imagine that you are riding your bike and you get damaged when, you, when you're going up the hill and then all of a sudden you have to get out of the bike heal yourself up again and then you have to go you have to enter the, the bike again now you don't even have to get out of the bike you can just heal yourself by pressing from your quick slots at the same time while riding the bike your medical supplies and it will be just and it will be just nice have been made for the drones mainly what you need to understand is that now these clans that don't that they do not have the function arsenal 2 well here you are guys we have actually uh, they have made it for all people for all clans but you need to be level 5 clan you need to be level 5 and you need to be a deputy in order to see the quest in testing grounds which can give you to create the drone plus um, another thing that I found very interesting about the drone is the drone parts you could find them in the commission which for those people who have those drones they can actually sell those and they can earn really good money while others they can help themselves and get the drone that they wanted guns to the new added pistols which is the udav pistol and it's level 35 pistol which has an amazing rate of fire and a magazine capacity that with uh, crafted L21 M1 ammo is gonna be one of the best best pistols you ever ever tried now I want to talk about another change which possibly I ever have been waiting for this for a long time since the change since the big change of the mercenary now so as you see guys here I have an MSR so basically what has been changed is the recoil basically I feel there's literally no recoil at all so when I press on the automatic one this is what I have as you can see for the engineers there has been another change uh, which I don't know I feel it is a bit limited on uh, and, and thank God because people were spamming with so many claimers with so many uh, explosives but I want to be specific so for this one if you go here with this explosive the Bartok explosive so you can only place 10 so if you see over here 
you can only place 10 so yeah so for example if I place 10 in one location uh, like this basically uh, what happens is that I won't be able to place uh, another one so I have to only um, place them so basically another engineer has to place them uh, if I cannot so this limits the engineer from uh, spamming too, uh, too, too much claimers and uh, too much explosives Another change that has been made that probably um, probably nobody could really see it is the change of the fire sound uh, of the machine gun. So uh, let's check this out. see they even changed that all right now I will talk about the last change that has been uh, over and over uh, been compli complained about and actually here it is guys so right now we have uh, the base uh, soon it's gonna be closed but right now it's still open so as you can see I'm going right here so if I go right here to the sun spiders and you will see that on the sun spider spot you will find literally nothing it will be empty so basically what they've done over here at this point the monsters while there is PvP uh, or let's say there is the base open so while the base opens for capture the monsters are totally despawned so there will be no monsters during uh, when you see this flag open the notification uh, for fortification score zone so once you see that there will be no uh, monsters spawning no matadors no uh, no sun spiders basically the pvp players will be very much happier right now because of this big uh, big change that made the pvp much more enjoyable uh, in order for somebody to attack or defend all right i want to highlight another change that i have noticed which is the b6 mata which now uh, after exactly after the mata event which is from here on f4 after this time we have another one on b6 which becomes an event and you can literally earn exactly the same reward as the mata event so in conclusion this update was mostly for the pvp there were some pvp changes uh, in canyon there were some new additions that made uh, a few classes happy but I, I would be honest, mercenary was the biggest change of all. I've seen a lot of miners and a lot of hunters just changing class, which is crazy. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite change in this update and why. So for now, I hope you enjoy the video and learned a few stuff and I'll see you on the next one.